so I found out that I am pregnant. I haven't told my family yet. Um, I don't know when I, I think I'm going to tell them after my doctor's visit. I'll be nine weeks after my doctor's visit. That's what I'm going to tell them. Um, but yes, nine weeks. Uh, I found out I missed my period one day. I was like, hmm, let me take the test. So I took the test and it was positive. <laughs> I took a dollar test of all tests. Um, and it was positive. So don't don't like knock down the Dollar Tree test, guys. It, it works. Um, and then I took after that. Then I took one of the store bought ones, like the twelve dollar ones for two packs, or the one you know seven days sooner or, or whatever. Um, that showed pregnant too, but the the line was way pink, or well, way lighter than the Dollar Tree one. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe not. And then I went to the doctor on Thursday, May 7th, and she confirmed it. They did, a, they did an ultrasound, and you see the bitty 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 thing right there. Um, I found out at five weeks, four days. So, um, yeah. It just threw us all, me and him, by surprise. Um, that's the news. So far, I'm having, like, some of the symptoms. Nausea. I'm gonna give you some TMI. Diarrhea, which is not fun at all. I'm very tired. I find myself sleeping in the car, <laughs> waiting for him, just knocking out. And hungry, yet yeah, not hungry because of the nausea. But hungry because, you know, things are changing. Um, overall, it's a good, it's a good thing. I'm not upset about it. The only thing that I am anxious about is the finances um, and school. The due date is approximately January 9th to the 14th, January 2019, um, which will be my last semester of school. Unless I try to do next semester and knock out 20 units and two internships, but then I'll be like my last trimester. <laughs> It'd be ultra stressful because I'll be doing two internships and my classes. But then I'll be out of school and then I can just like, focus on the baby. But why would I want that much stress? I don't know. Versus one one internship in January versus two internships in August. So I'm just breaking it up. Um, so yeah. So it's not like I'm not trying. So it's, it's good that I have, everyone's upset that people are on government aid, but I am thankful for government aid right about now. Um, I get food stamps. Um, and so it's really good because, you know, pregnant, food stamps, and I'm still trying to enhance my life. I'm in the master's program, so it's not like I'm just not working or doing anything and having kids and doing food stamps that's not that's not it so people who who don't want to support the government services helping people like me they they should reevaluate their priorities and yeah I don't know I don't know if it's just about priorities but um just reevaluate what they consider you know like helpful because government aid helps those who who are trying to get out of it, you know, and build themselves up. But yeah, Chris wasn't too happy at first. Um, at first he said no, he didn't want the, the baby because he's not where he wants to be in life. And that did hurt my feelings and I cried a little bit. And, um, but yeah, he said now that he's okay with it, um, he just had to put his pedal to the metal, so to speak, um, but it'll, it'll work out, I pray that it will, so that is all for now, a little life update, today is May, May 12th, May 12th, my first doctor's appointment is May 30th, and I'll keep you guys posted, okay, bye.